Okay, you know what I'm about to show you, and no, it's not a clickbaity title, and yes, that title card does look amazing, I hope. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll make an amazing looking title card, but it's the Nanashi team, what I think might be the best Nanashi team, and it's the Naofumi team, because of Nanashi's new Holy Relic. So, alright, let's just have a look at what Naofumi does, just to sort of have a refresher. So basically, he is going to increase our basic stats by 30% when he taunts up, and he's gonna gain a bunch of marks of wrath up to 6, which is gonna increase his damage dealt by 35% per mark of wrath with this card. So this is a curse card, if the enemies don't attack, they will be alt gauge sealed. We will basically control the enemy's ultimates with this team as well, because we do have Nanashi as well. Uh, Rough Talia, of course, is going to increase our HP by 300%, and she's also going to decrease the damage we take by 30%. If all allies in the battle are of the same attribute, which they are because Nanashi is also a speed attribute. Guild Thunder is going to increase our defense by 60%, that's what he does, he's in the back. And Rough Talia is also going to increase our damage dealt by 40% when Naofumi is in a stance. So she's actually going to hit really, really hard. And we also have Nanashi here, who has a passive that states that when allies have two skills or less, they're going to have their max HP, crit resistance, and crit defense increased by 20% and now he has a very awesome looking holy relic which states that it's gonna increase unknown race allies basic stats by 30% and because he is an unknown race ally Raftalia is an unknown race ally that sort of works there it won't work for now for me and it won't work for guild Thunder, but that's not all it also increases our defense related stats of all allies with two or fewer skills at the start of allies turn by 20% so we get an additional buff on top of like the two other buffs that we already have and if we are attacked we're of course gonna remove one old gauge orb from the enemy per like hero attack so this is the team we're gonna use we're probably gonna go second and we are eating defense food so we're getting 28% additional defense there we're gonna get 30% basic stats from now for me Raftalia is gonna reduce the damage we take and increase the damage we deal Nanashi is gonna increase Raftalia's and his own basic stats by 30% it's gonna also increase all our allies def defense related stats by 20% we have guilt thunder in the back increasing our defense related stats by an additional 60% or is it just defense can't remember but yeah this is the team it's really really good and as you can see this is a melee and an escanor this might be a bot because of the way he's playing but we are just gonna have to see we're basically going for rough talia i'm gonna have to see if this is a bot i wasn't paying attention to the amount of cc he had but let's see when i click this that's a player that's an actual player all right i believe we can actually kill this melee here if he doesn't have tarmia link he does so then we can kill the escanor <laughs> Raftalia doesn't have the additional 20% defense related stat increase, but she's still dealing a lot of damage and she did kill the Eskinor there. Now the Eskinor does have the AoE attack, he can still deal a lot of damage, but he's gonna deal less damage because Naofumis is in a stance and we do have Raftalia there. So yeah, let's just see what he does. He's probably gonna prevent us from healing. Yeah. Raftalia could die this turn. She survived, but then we get melee AoE. No, single target. So Raftalia did survive there. That's really good for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to kill that Meliodas. Ooh, that Eskinor. <laughs> that Eskinor is very scary though. I don't like that. I don't like that gold card one bit, but you know what? For content, we're just gonna kill the melee and we can deal with the Eskinor later. I think this is gonna deal a lot of damage. Melee will of course heal back, but I think Raftalia will kill him here. There we go. No more Meliodas, no more annoying debuffs. Um, I was lucky he didn't actually AoE me. But now we will see here what he actually does. Because he does have that cold card, I wonder if it is a finger poke. I hope it's a finger poke. Otherwise, Nanashi and Raftalia are gone. I do believe Raftalia is still gonna be gone after this attack. But we do have another taunt up. And uh, now for me, we'll be able to revive again. Alright, let's just see here. It was an AoE. It was an AoE, alright. Well, we are killing that uh, Eskinor at least. He survived. Alright, he's, he's dead here though. <laughs> I'm gonna save the ultimate. So we basically fully healed. Ooh, ooh, yeah. So I'm getting a gold taunt as well. That's gonna increase our defense related stats by 80%. Alright, he gave up. He saw how strong Nanashi was even from the grave and he gave up. <laughs> Right, hopefully we can get some more Meliodas teams, some different variations of the teams. Alright, there's an unknown team with Nanashi in the back. They will go first and they will hit for quite hard because Nanashi isn't buffing us turn one. Yeah, we'll just have to see, but we can at least cleanse the debuffs with the Naofumi uh, when we do taunt up. He does have like one lifeline where he can survive. So we will just have to see how hard they actually hit us for. Alright, we won't be able to heal back. 
This might be like the only team that can actually counter us and it's just another unknown team. <laughs> oh, look at that. We still survived from a green unit attack. That is crazy, dude. Does she have... Yeah, she has Saria Link. So I think this might kill. Let's go. Ooh, that was weak. That was very, very weak. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm just gonna give up. Alright, we can't win them all, but trust, trust, this team is really good. <laughs> it's actually really good. Oh, let's see who we face this time. Is it the same dude? Come on, I even waited. I waited. Alright, trust. We, we're gonna win this. We are gonna win this. And because he's loading for so long, this is an actual player. Ooh, a Meliodas team with a fully geared out Meliodas. He's kind of low on CC though, not gonna lie, for actually having cosmetics and stuff like that. I will taunt up. I do wonder... Probably running dodge food, isn't he? Yes, Eskinor there. We, we might just go like this, because we do have the buff there with Raftalia. Yeah, evasion. Let's just see how hard we can actually hit with this attack. I mean, that, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. Um, but we are facing an Estarosa, who is, of course, anytime we attack, uh, we will lose one buff. So that is just a little bit unfortunate, but we are just going to go ahead and see here. Uh, I can attack twice with now for me without actually losing a buff. So, yeah, I might actually just attack with now for me once. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually gonna attack twice. I encroach myself and then I won't be encro encroached anymore. Big brain play. Sometimes you have to big brain it. Melly might die. Alright, that was the biggest brain play I could have made. <laughs> oh, oh, what a massive big brain play. Dude, did, did you see the brain on Raftalia? So big. So big. Oh my god, I just had the best match ever and I didn't hit record. I survived a 6-6 Eskinor ult. And when I started recording again, I, I just noticed like, wait, what? Where, where's that file? There's a file size here, 21 megabytes, that's not it. <laughs> oh my god. It was a long match though, and I got like Gil Thunder, Victor screen even, but... I survived a 6-6 Eskinor ult. Oh no. Like the, re <laughs> the reaction to that was so epic as well. Oh, I'm majorly bummed out now. But look, he can't even kill my Nanashi there. That's a strong Nanashi is. Is this a player? Yeah, that's a player. That's way too laggy. I'm gonna kill his... Hmm, can I one-shot her? Let's just do that and then I'll one-shot her. I think the silver card might one-shot. If I'm lucky enough. Like, it most definitely will in geared, but... This is ungeared, so... Alright, it did. <laughs> She hits for so hard on like silver and gold, especially with this team. And she didn't have like the 20% extra defense increase, but she does get like the 30% basic stat increase. So that's like an additional 30% defense that she's getting in ungear, you know. Now we can get now for me ult. We can do a silver taunt and then another hit with Raftalia. That could potentially kill the Eskinor. Or I might just kill the Liz, though I think the Liz will have like the basic stat increase, which is a little bit worrisome. It's really going for my like Nanashi. All right, um, like I hope Nanashi can survive whatever comes next, but he did use his AOE there, I think. Can Raftalia kill? How much HP does he have? 183. Nah, she can't. We might be able to kill the Bond though. Type advantage. And we do have a now for me ult. We do have a two turn taunt. Almost. 139k, that's very respectable in ungeared for a bronze card. All right, we can prevent them from rushing their ults, even if they do like single target attacks into now for me. Look, he's not taking any damage, and she's like, uh, she has six stacks of her buff, 15% all stat increase. Look, now she's surviving. Easy. There we go. So now at least we can kill the Eskinor with the ultimate. He is a 6-6 six, six Eskinor. Oh, he gave up. All right, well, good game, dude. All right, another Eskinor team with an Ultrosh. Uh, twist. Now we could be able to kill the the end there because we do have a lot of like single target attacks uh, with both Nanashi having one and then um, Raftalia having two. So we don't even need to use our AoEs there. But uh, I'm gonna bank on this actually killing because it's type advantage. She doesn't have her shield up or taunt. My god, dude, that that card usually hits for nothing. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was actually surprising. It was so hard. Oh, wow. Melly drops down. All right. Well, at least I can, like, remove uh, whatever cards he tries to save or whatever. He's going for the Eskinor ult. Is he going to attack me? All right. So I did get the ult. Uh... And we remove that. I should have moved the now for me cards. I would have gotten now for me salt and the Nanashi cards would have merged. Uh, it's always hindsight with me. I think this is gonna be fine anyway. I don't have any more like uh, old removers, but I think I might just be able to kill. If he attacks me here, I might just taunt up and do two of these. That should be enough. He's taunting up. Alright, so the melee there is a threat, but I think if I do this, if I do this, and then this, that should kill. Even with like two wrath stacks, I think that's, that should kill. Melee doesn't have like the damage reduction anymore, and the Eskinor is on his final flame, so that's really good. Alright, well good game dude. Alright, so I've faced seven bot matches in a row, and I'm actually facing a mirror match. Wow. Wow. After seven bot matches in a row, I'm facing a mirror match. I don't believe this. Yeah. He knows. He's a YouTuber. It's a YouTuber who has the same idea as me. <laughs> I have to look him up. Uh... There we go, 6.54k subs. Damn, dude. Is it one of the Spanish YouTubers? Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna attack into his now for me. And we're gonna see how hard Raftalia can actually hit here. Now with the Raft stacks here, he does have to sort of attack. He can cleanse it with his now for me. But yeah, let's just see. <laughs> <laughs> I should put a YT next to my name. <laughs> I could push someone's ult. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any good Banashi cards. And only now for me will have like the, the bonus stack there. He's taunting up, of course. He's probably going to deal a lot of damage here. Poor Aftalia. He's trying to kill her. He's really, really trying to kill her. I'm gonna bank on him not actually getting any sort of... Oh, wait. She can, can just single target me. <laughs> Dude, it's a shame. Getting these bad card draws. Not even a single taunt or anything. I just go like this. We're gonna get the Nanashi, you know, buffs on himself because he's probably... Oh, wait. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking straight. Like, those seven bot matches really, really took it out of me. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna bow down. He got to go first, and once you kill, like, Rough Talia, that, that's pretty much over, right? Alright, at least I'm gonna be able to maybe draw a taunt. Like, if I can draw a taunt, then it's still not over. Alright, that's a taunt. That most definitely is a taunt. And uh, I can't get his ult. Um... Just go like this. How hard is Nanashi gonna hit? He has no buffs. Dude, it's it's embarrassing to actually misplay against another YouTuber. His community is probably laughing at me. <laughs> and my Nanashi doesn't have any buffs either. I should probably try to kill his Nanashi. I know that's his sort of play there and just going for a Nanashi team, but if I can kill him, like that's gonna reduce a lot of the basic stats. My Nanfumi does have five Wrath stacks. Oof, but it wasn't enough. I do have my taunt up still. That is something I do have. And I can delete cards next turn. I do have another taunt up. He is going to get his Nanfumi ult, but I don't think that's gonna help him at all. I don't think he's killing here. Almost. Yeah, you can kill him. That's fine. And then we'll see. So he's popped a revive on me. And I'm gonna try to... I'm actually gonna try to... Oh my god. I should kill his Nanashi. 
Uh, I'm gonna let this Nanashi live. I'm just gonna make it so that he can't taunt up. So I'm gonna remove one of his uh, one of his cards there. There we go. At least we got some cannon now for me cards there. I can get a silver taunt and one more attack. My guild thunder is almost dead, so this is his match here. I will get my ult though. He does have his ult there with Raftalia. There's no way I can kill here. No, I didn't even kill the Nashi. <laughs> I did the smart play and now I don't have any enough of my cards, of course. But I did the smart play. He just went for my Raftalia and th then that's it. Like, Raftalia does so much damage. He's totally crazy. And now he will have 50% basic stat increase. And yeah, it's over. Good game, dude. All right, well, that was an interesting final match. Facing another YouTuber and completely embarrassing myself, but you know what? I'm happy he gets his content, so... <laughs> nah, it's fine. Good game, dude. I'm gonna link to his channel in the description. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for me. Like, the Nanashi team, really fun team. Actually, quite good as well. And Nanashi's Holy Relic, it works in many different teams. As you saw, like, I lost to the uh, other, like, unknown team with Nanashi in the back, who just completely wrecked me with Philo. That's a different story, like... Of course, any team that goes second against that team is gonna struggle, but, you know, it is what it is. The Holy Relic is amazing, and yeah, if you can get your hands on it, if you can actually clear the wolf boss, then, yeah, then you can have some actual fun in PvP. So, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for me. Uh, hope you liked the video, hope you enjoyed watching me wreck some people, and also get wrecked by another YouTuber. <laughs> but anyway, hope you have a wonderful day, and yeah, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.